YouTube won't monetize them otherwise. Yeah, I did not know that if you don't monetize your videos and they become popular, YouTube puts ads in. I was talking to Mo, uh, Mo Torres, who's an avid gadget freak. And I was saying, oh, yeah, I, you know, I don't monetize my YouTube videos because I don't want to annoy people with ads. He said, well, why are there ads on your videos? I said, well, they can't be. And he sent me some clips with ads. And it turns out that YouTube... If you have a popular video, you too, you don't want to monetize it. All right, we'll do it. And, and they keep the money, obviously. Um, <laughs> a saint among men. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the other thing... Uh, I mean, Ticketmasters is one thing, but I belong to the New York Historical Society and they do a lot of lectures and you can buy tickets to watch them on Zoom. And there was, there was all reasonable, five or, or the most was 10 bucks. So they had one on New York delicatessens and I thought, uh, oh, you know, I'm going to do that. And it was ten dollars, and then it said there is a three dollar and ten cent booking fee. That's like a third of the price of the ticket. Hello, I'm Dick. Be... Oh, okay, we're ready. I think so. I got the recordings okay. running. How does my okay. volume level sound to you? Uh, pretty good. For some reason, it's low on my headphones. Let me, I'll turn my headphones up. I'll turn my headphones up. That'll help. All right. So um, let us do the show. If you're ready, I'm ready. Recordings I'm are ready. going. I think I have the videos routed the way I need them. I think I've got the buttons ready to push. Yep, that works. Um, and this is uh, 521. Okay. And this is the 26th of April. All right. Hi, Burke. Okay, Burke, Burke came to report that my level's fine on the stream also. It's just my okay. headphones for some reason don't sound as loud as I'd like them. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Anyway, you know, we got this new board. We're, been, we're still dialing in the new board. All right. So, the Giz Fizz. This is the Giz Fizz, episode 522. Oh, I know. I better change the number in the uh, lower third. Almost ready. Almost ready. Okay. Now it says 522. Do, 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 do. 522, totally, uh, the regular, totally unimproved. All right, so this is the totally, regular, totally unimproved Giz Fizz, episode 522, recorded on Wednesday, April 26th. Let me get this out of my way so I can close that, and I got that ready to go, and it begins. Three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to the totally unimproved 2023 <laughs> Giz Fizz. <laughs> We're going to have photos from George Davis. We're going to have interesting facts from George Davis. Then we'll play some logo and unique. I used chatbot to create some match game questions. Cool. For tonight's show. I can't wait. And a few of them are pretty good. Uh, okay, so chat room celebrity of the week, anyone? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Even the crickets are low. All right, so let's do our photos. Photos from George Davis. George provides the photos, and you will caption them. And here is photo number one. Ah, uh, 
It is a man wearing cowboy boots, and he stepped on something squishy on the sidewalk. It doesn't look terribly doggy poo-like, but it's all over his boot, and it's sticky. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> man with some stickum. On the bottom of his boats. Oh, that's good. Raven said, real gumshoe detective. Stuck in the middle. Mandy the clown. I know I should have lined those roads. I shouldn't have lined the roads with cheese. I'm in a sticky situation. Ew. Who spilled the cheese? Bubblegum findle. Findy. Gumshoe for hire. Another road apple bites the dust partner. I got gum on my boots. Gum! A bubble gummer. What was that dog eating? Center line's not paint. It's bubble gum. It does look that way. Uh, bubble gum finder. Free bubble gum. The bubble gum, the gum is pushing his foot upwards. Oh, in a way, I see that. Uh, this was the very last species of gum rabbit. Now you stepped in it. Gumby, because you're mine, I eat. And we'll end with Mandy the Clown. That's the wrong way to pave the crack. Okay, George says, for man with sticky stuff on the bottom of his boot, my caption is, I just bought these boots. Hope the stuff on the bottom doesn't ruin them. Uh, okay, photo number two is, oh, my word. Well, I sort of hope that's Photoshop. Uh, two jetliners flying toward each other. And to me, it looks like they are uncomfortably close. Two jetliners flying toward each other. And pretty close to my eye. Stop following me. Uh-oh. Playing chicken with jets. Let's play chicken with our planes. A personal space here, Frank. I'm not sure if we're coming or going. Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> Do you have any gray poupon? You say hello, and I say goodbye. Hello, I must be going. Uh, flying into the night sky to be continued in the next exciting episode of I Fly. Bob, hey, Ralph, Ralph, hey, Bob, which is coming, which is going. Flying into the sunset in more ways than one. Hey, there's my buddy in that plane. Turn back. You can't fly to the sun. I tried it. I knew it was a bad idea to hire blue angel pilots. A nice view to start the flight. Jousting jets, jousting jets. And we'll end with, uh, surely you must be too close and don't call me Shirley. All right, George said, for close flying aircraft, my caption is, uh-oh, this guy should not be landing when we just took off. He should go around. Okay, photo three is... Mm -mm -mm, cook, uh, cookie wafers with the ends dunked in dark chocolate. Rolled up cookie wafers with the ends dunked in dark chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. People are salivating instead of writing. Uh, Sita said, we have so many arguments about which half is better. Cookies dunked in the bad place. Takis with chocolate, no fuego here. Crunchy good chocolate, edible shotgun shells. Jack, you need to finish the job. 
with the ice cream. Now my stomach is growling. Bite-sized yummy snacks. Those are very odd cigarette butts. Smoke these for high sugar. New lipstick. Why aren't they fully chocolate covered? Ice cream cookies. Mmm. We're thinking. Wafe goodbye. Where's the ice cream? Those look yummy. Smoke them if you got them. One smart cookie and the rest are just sweet. I try to write a response before I delete all my cookies. I got waffle in my choco. You got choco in my waffle. They need a filling. Half dipped. I said full dipped. And we'll end with um, ending with <laughs> they look delicious, says Giz One. They do actually. Uh, George says these were just dunked in warm chocolate. Where's the cold milk? Okay. And photo four is. <laughs> is that a horse? Wow, looks like a mule mouth, but a horse. Well, chat rooms, whatever you want, horse or mule, but he's laughing at us. Mouth wide open, teeth showing, possibly photoshopped because they sure are even. Um, mm -mm, it's Wilbur. That'll do pig nose horse. He's running again. Mr. Ed's number one fan jackass. Did you read the latest copy of mad? Nice smile. My Ed just took a joke. Uh, LOL. He never fails to make an ass of himself. Say, ah, Hey, look at my new teeth. Brush me baby. One more time. Ha ha, I love watching that Mr. Ed show. Look, Ma, no cavities. Who's the jackass now? A horse is a horse, of course. Polydent clean. Mr. Mule, it's time for your close-up. Look, I'm a horse. Let's not talk about Pepsodent. Mr. Ed for Pepsodent. And we'll end with Stooge. A hee-haw ad. Okay, George said, for the photo of the horse laughing, my caption is to tell the truth. That really was a funny farm joke. All right, photo five is uh, oh, okay. Um, let me just switch captions here. Okay. Photo five is an angel walking um, on a path, okay, and tall grass on either side. And <laughs> is she carrying a very sharp pencil or a saber? Whatever you want. Oh, and lightning in the background. This is very confusing. Okay. Angel, stormy background. She's on a path, grass on either side of her. And you deal with that in any way you want. Angel of death has come to ruin you. You smoke enough of that. And this is what you'll see. Follow me on the path to heaven. The harvest, the goddess of the harvest. My girlfriend, when I tell her I'm not going to her friend's party. Um, Tinkerbell 2, first blood. I may look innocent, but I use this sword. I'm here to save you. And we'll end with, um, ending with, uh, uh, is it going to, I'm, and we're ending with angry wife opens your credit card bill and we'll throw in new scarecrow from Wizard of Oz remake. Okay, George said, for the angel walking on a path, my caption is, I'm not being a wise guy when I ask you this. Have you ever had a piece of 
angel food cake. Okay, I give up. Where's the cake? I don't see any cake in that photo. Okay, and photo number six is... Uh, people using... Yeah, people using straw to make things. Baskets, mats. Chickens. Chickens. It looks like a real chicken walking around. Um, yeah, okay. A basket weaving factory. Uh, let's see. Uh, the rooster says, do it this way. Where all boobs come from, where all boobs come in from China. The rooster runs the show, rooster entertainment. The chicken is the supervisor. Those, <laughs> Logan Five says, those weaving confections ought to be chocolate dipped. Chicken in a basket. Rooster checking up on his employees. You catch fish and lobster with this, not put fruit inside it. Uh, a straw man development group. That's interesting. The rooster is our mascot. Uh, Eric Duckman and Magoo matched. Wants, a rooster wants baby corns. Foghorn, leghorn. Stop making those stupid baskets and feed me. Faster, faster. Make baskets or suffer the pecking of your life. Oh, I'm, oh this is good. Geek wannabe. I'm a basket case. Martron, those baskets are really something to crow about. And we'll end with the amazing nothing is posting. So I guess we're ending with those baskets are really something to crow about. And George says, for people making things with bamboo strips, my caption is, all living depends on how many things we can make with bamboo. Today, we're making baskets. Uh, okay. And now George always brings us fun facts. Oh, name the one continent that does not have a McDonald's. Name the one continent, the continent, one continent that does not have too a easy. McDonald's. It's too easy? Seems too easy. Seems too easy. Things are not always as they seem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are correct. You are correct. It is indeed Antarctica. Sunsets on Mars are what color? Wow. Sunsets on Mars are what color? Red, blue, orange, gravy, white. Wow. <laughs> the color of your eyes, doll. Paisley. Brown. Wow, there's, there's certainly a lot. Uh, there's a variety of answers here. Holy cow. Well, wait a minute. We have our resident astronomer. Yeah. Well, so it's, Jim, uh, I, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of inter I mean, I just pulled it up in Google, and I see a lot of interesting pictures. And one in particular um, is this one here that compares the sunsets on all the different planets. So you got Earth, hazy Earth, Venus, Mars, Uranus. Although I'm seeing in these pictures of uh, sunset on Mars, I'm seeing a lot of blue and gray. What does what does the answer say? The answer is mostly blue. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah, so yeah. you, you're very observant to uh, know that. Well, no, I just Googled it. 
Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I thought mm-hmm. back in my head to the pictures I'd seen, and the, the the that very first picture in the upper left, kind of kind of yellowish. That yeah. was the that was my thought. But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of blue. Yeah, there is a lot of blue there. Okay, and the final. Qu- oh, oh no, no, two more questions. Oh, this is good. What is the average amount of time in your life you will spend waiting at a red light? The average time in your life you will spend waiting for a red light. Wow. Talk about spread. 80 years, eight months. Three years, five minutes. Six and a half years, 10 years. One year. 6,000 hours. Read it again. See what my average amount of time in your life. Uh... I'm going to go with six weeks. <laughs> um, wow. All right, Jamma B? Six months. Six months. Okay. Oh, my gosh. The average amount of time in your life spent waiting for a red light to change to green is six months. Wow. Wow. So, Dick, I hate to interrupt, but I must tell you a little story here. Um, okay. Between this uh, east side studio and my home, four miles down uh, Petaluma Boulevard. Um, but I take a five-mile route that is a long cut that avoids Petaluma Boulevard, and it goes in a little more rural area, more farmland, and it's five miles. And the reason I do that is because on when I take the Petaluma Boulevard route, I hit nine miles stoplights. When I take the rural one mile longer route, I hit four stop signs. So by taking the longer route, I'm effectively lowering the amount of time I am waiting at stop signs. So I'm going to say for me, five months, 27 days. (laughs) Okay. Well, I'll make a note of that on this paper, except for Jam and B. Um, Because I take the long cut home. Yes. You know what? This might bring some funny answers. I'm going to say one more thing about my long cut. Um, I see to make it even longer. Uh, There are cows. There are horses. There are goats. And you know what? This time of year, after all the rain we've been having, they are so happy in thick green grass. It makes me so happy to see, and especially when it's warm and it's sunny after you know the winter, to see uh, all these animals munching out on all this grass they have. Because I know in like four or five months, it's all going to be brown. Sounds good to me. Okay, uh, um, ketchup was not the popular condiment. Until the late 19th century, when it was used for blank. And I could, I, I don't know how this can be. Ketchup wasn't the popular condiment until the late 19th century, when it was used for. <laughs> Fake blood, French fries, cleaning car bumpers, making meatloaf. Oh, that's a good use for that. Lubricant, making wooden wheels used as makeup, uh, uh, hot dogs, French fries. Um, nobody has what is on this card or on this sheet of paper. All right, uh, so to me it doesn't make sense, but I'll read it straight on through. Uh, Ketchup was not the popular condiment until the late 19th century where it was used for indigestion. Wow, wow. 
Uh, George ends with, let's share a great website. My uh, re- website share is radiogarden.com. It has about every radio station in the world that you can listen to. And I, uh, on George advice, he emailed me a couple of weeks ago about this. Yeah, you just click on the globe, pick a spot on the globe, hit it. And there are dots for old radio stations in that area. Hit one of them and it starts playing. It's pretty neat. Uh, Radiogarden.com. George says, another show under our belt. Thanks, chat room. Stay happy and healthy. See you next time, George. George, that was great. Okay. Ta-da. So now we're done. We're going to do some logo. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, and what logo is a puffy man made out of white tires? In what company logo is a puffy man made out of white tires? Tires. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Now here's a company that got noticed. Did you know Jamma B? Oh yeah. Well, I say that now. <laughs> But then I've seen the <laughs> chat room. But in my yeah. head, I thought I knew before I saw the chat room. Yeah, me too. I thought I knew. Which fast, which fashion house emblazons its handbag, shoes, and cosmetics with overlapping letters? Oh, this is so easy. With the overlapping letters, YSL. Well, I guess you could come up with some funny answers. What fashion That's house? We're hoping. Come on, chat room. Why us? Emblazes a tan bag, shoes and cosmetics with overlapping letters. Y S L. Okay, we see the right answers. Come on, we like you suck loser. Now there on. we go. You suck loser. Wow. Hey, come on, look, if you put in the right answer, you're not going to get it. We've already seen the right answer. I want to see some good wrong answers. I don't know. Yves St. Laurent, you still living? You're sure lousy? There you go. You should leave thee. You're so lusty. Those are good. But the answer on the card is indeed Yves St. Laurent. Laurent. What brand of green bottled sparkling water is the official sponsor of the French Open? I don't even think you need to. Are there, they are, are there more than one green bottled sparkling waters? Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. What brand of green bottled sparkling water? Uh, uh, um. All right. Yup, it is indeed, Perrier. Which French automaker has a logo that features a walking lion and won European Car of the Year five times as of 2017? What French automaker whose logo features a walking lion won European Car of the Year five times. Finally, somebody figured out how to spell it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so that, you knew the answer, right? Jimmy. I did not know, but I know that Peugeot is a is a brand of car, and it's a difficult one to spell. <laughs> oh, okay, but you you did identify the correct no, spelling. No, I, I don't. I don't know. Oh, okay. 
Uh, it is Peugeot, and it's P E U G E O T. So yeah, a few of you two. had the, we had one or two correct spellings. Yeah, one or two with the right answer and the right spelling. Uh, uh, um. All right, we'll do one more of these, and then we'll do things that don't teach you in school. Mm -mm -mm. What digital game features the characters Tiffy, Mr. Toffee, Mr. Yeti, and Otis? I have no idea. Me neither. Which digital game features the characters Tiffy, Mr. Toffee, Mr. Yeti, and Otis? Well, the chat room doesn't seem to know either. Oh, strangely, the answer, I know the... I didn't know this was the answer, but the answer is a famous game. Did you have an answer, Jammer B? No, I, I don't have any idea. Okay. Um, all right. We have like three correct answers with, we have one dead on. Uh, who is that? Loke. Loke, you are right with all three words. Candy Crush Saga. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Which action star bought the first Hummer? Which action star bought the first Hummer manufactured for civilian use? I should add that. Which action star? I love that star? we refer to him by his first name. That is very cool. Yeah. Arnold. <laughs> Arnold the Gov. Wow, chat room. Jeremy B, you knew or you just saw the answer? No, I remember. I remember him. Uh, it was it was kind of newsworthy when that happened. Yeah, okay. It, it is indeed Arnold. What's the name of the iconic character produced by the Japanese company Senrio? Wow. I know the answer from looking at the card, I've but never I never connected. Sanri under the company, uh, me so. either. I never connected these two. What is the name of the iconic character produced by the, the Japanese in the chat room seem to company? Know. Oh my God! Oh my! Look at this chat room. I am really amazed. The chat room is, yeah. Look at look at this. It is indeed. Hello, Kitty. You guys are really great. Let's see how you do on the final one. Oh, chat room, get ready for 1,000 matches. Bet you can't do what with Lay's potato chips? Bet you can't do what with Lay's potato chips? Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Frosty Winnipeg. That's what I think. Wow. Does anybody remember who the character was? He was um, like a comedian who did it. And also he was in movies. Anybody remember who actually did the commercial? You bet you can't eat just one. I don't think it was Burt Law. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to... Let's go over to things they didn't teach you in school and match game. Yes. Did we do the... Oh, it is part long. Don't answer that. What have you got there? Lay's potato chips, bet you can't eat one. 
That's absolutely absurd. Mmm. How toothsome. I'll have another. Oh, no. I said just one. <laughs> so you did. So you did. <laughs> A fiendish maneuver. So you did. <laughs> Very good. With his potato chips, so light, so thin, so crisp, you can eat a million of them, but nobody can eat just one. Another flavored favorite from Frito Lay. Delicious. Very good. Yeah, Bert Lar indeed. There's another guy who does eat with a little bow tie. Um, okay. Did we do this to world's best-selling musical instrument? Maybe, but I don't remember, so... Oh, we'll again. do it again, then. Yeah. What is the world's best-selling musical instrument? Uh -uh -uh. Kazoo, mouth hop, triangle... Kazoos, <laughs> guitar, bell. <laughs> I was going to say ukulele and it just popped up. <laughs> uh, okay. Coleman Wax Paper, Jew Hop, guitar. Handbone, squeeze box. Jeremy B, you have an answer? Yeah, I was going to say ukulele. Okay. You know what is... Oh, okay. I see one... I see two answers, two right answers, but I may have missed some. Uh, Best-selling musical instrument is the harmonica. And there's Bill in Michigan coming up with it also. Mm-mm-mm. How long can you store beef in the freezer? Wouldn't it be forever? How long can you store beef in the freezer? Becky had it too. Okay, how long? Uh -uh -um. Six months, two years, beef. Well, you know, I think I'm going to go <laughs> with the most given answer. I'm going to, I'm going to say six months. I'm going with the three month people. With the three month people? Okay. Because it starts to get freezer burn. Uh, let's look at it. For how long can beef be stored in the freezer? Up to one year, assuming the meat was fresh when you froze it. No, well, uh, did, some people had it. Oh, my God. This is the way I want to go, by the way. What percentage of death occurs while a person is sleeping? Uh, just not tonight. Oh, Dave. Dave. Say again. Uh, just not tonight. Your wish. Not tonight. You, you wish yeah. that you die in your sleep. Just not tonight. Not tonight. What percentage of deaths occur while a person is sleeping? I bet it. I. I, I bet it's low. I'm. St I'm going with Elmo. Yeah, me too. I'll go ten percent. I. I, I, I I up Elmo one. I'm going with 11%. You're going with 10%, Gemma B? Yes. Well, Martron, 70. Geek wannabe, 30%. Um, 28%. All right. It's going to be really interesting. Um, yeah, it's fairly low. I'll read it again with the answer. What percentage of deaths occurs while the person is sleeping 
Fifteen percent. What did you say? You said ten, right? Yeah, I did. So you were closer yeah. with eleven. Ha ha. Yeah, just not not that close. Okay. And our final things that don't teach in school. <laughs> what percentage of sex toys are made in China? What percentage of sex toys are made in China? What? Is this a joke answer? You know what? Hold this up to the camera. Uh, I, I think it's going to be really high. Like, you know, like 80%. Uh, I used to have a, a magnifying glass here, but I don't know where it went. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Um, Jimmy B, what's your guess? I'll go 90. 90. Well, let me see if anybody has the exact showing uh, just uh, on the answers I can see. Somebody was really close with 69 because the answer is 70%. 70%. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Oh, you know what? Can we get a snappy answer situation? Dan, do you have some handy? Or we just, we just need one. Um, if not, uh, we can come up with one. Uh, um, situation for a snappy answer. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, all right. Railroad crossing. The bars are down. Lights are flashing. And someone turns to the person next to him and says, is the train coming? Okay, railroad crossing, bars down, red lights flashing. And one person says to the other, is the train coming? And you say, eh. okay. Is the train coming? Come on, someone's got to say, no, the train is going. Uh, no, it's a disco floor. Dance, you fool. No, that's a stupid question alert. No, but one of the passengers is. Uh-uh. No, it's going. There you go. It's not even breathing hard. It's a malfunction. No, want to go anyway? <laughs> Ranger Rick says, go, uh, go out on the tracks. Let us know. Oh, another one, Jerry. Step on the tracks and find out. No, you're under arrest. No, this is only a test. No, it's going to hit you. Move. No, directed your shell to action. No, it forgot to take its blue pill. No means you can cross now. I don't know. Can you go on the tracks and take a look? No, the horn is attracting me to the tracks. No, but a media is about to hit. No, we're in Disneyland. I get it. I get that. This is the, yeah. This is a Monopoly boy. Give me 200 bucks. No, the police are testing their red signals. No. That signal is that your lunch is ready in the microwave. And we'll end with Johnny Monday. No, the ferry sails on rails now. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Dennis is not coming for match game tonight. You want to call Alex? I do. Okay. Um, all right. So here's where here's where the chat bot kind of failed. Um, I explained what Dumb Donald was, 
And the questions are sort of, sort of, sort of lame. It may have came up with them in like 45 seconds. Dumb Dada was some, so dumb he didn't have any flour, so he made a cake out of blank. Didn't have any sugar, so he sweetened his coffee with blank. Didn't have any bread, so he made a sandwich with blank. Didn't have any eggs, so he made an omelet with blank. <laughs> Sounds like a machine wrote that. Okay, but... <laughs> Uh, um, here are some that fared better. This is not too bad. Forgetful Bob was so forgetful, forgetful he went to work it? only wearing his blank. Forgetful Bob. It should have been Forgetful Fred, you stupid chatbot. Um... Forgetful Bob was so forgetful he went to work wearing only his blank. Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, Alex. Wow. Oh, Alex is working. So I guess he can't write. Um, okay, Jammer B, is Burke playing? Uh, I don't know. He might. If he's, if he's, oh yeah, I see. He's in the. He's in the studio, so he's got a pen. He, he's very oh okay. Yes. Forgetful Bob was so forgetful he went to work wearing only his blank. Bargain basement. Burke said teeth. Okay. And Jammer B only wearing his. Dignity. Uh, I have, oh, I got a match, at least one, only wearing his underwear. And Alex, I, it looks like Alex is working, right? Yo, he's walking. Wow. Uh oh, wow. He's got a card. Oh, no, he's going to cut all those wires. Gonna go up in that hole. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go to question two. The dent. This is sort of okay. The dentist was so mean. Instead of Novocaine, he used blank. The dentist was so mean. Instead of Novocaine, he used blank. I think I should get a match with this. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Blackjack. Placebo with cream. Well, I don't have an exact match. Uh, Jamie B, your answer yeah, to no, the dentist no is so no, mean? No, um, no answer here. I was No answer? Okay. I had, I, had sharp, I had a Sharpie accident. Okay. <laughs> and Burke, does he have an answer? He used his fists. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, okay. Dentist so mean. Instead of Novocaine, he used... I said sugar, but there were three sugar canes up there, and that's a match. Um, oh, this is kind of funny. The weather was so hot. How hot was it? Birds were using blanks to make their nest. That's kind of good. The weather was so hot. Birds were using blank to make their nests. This is actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. Boy, I don't...
burning of solar panels, slurpees, bird baths, coolers, crushed ice. Boy, I have no match. Frappuccinos. Oh, did we win the lottery? Uh, Jamma B. It was so hot, birds use blank to make their nest. Popsicles. That's okay. Uh, Burke. So hot, birds use blank to make their nest. Refrigerators. You got some matches. I said they use potholders. Everything they were using had to be handled with potholders. Okay, we'll do one more. Oh, you know, we'll, we'll end with Charlie's video because uh, Dennis didn't come down, so Charlie didn't come down. Um, the chef was so bad, he served his guests blank-flavored ice cream. The chef was so bad, he served his guests blank-flavored ice cream. Oh, I got matches, I got matches, I got matches. Ice-flavored onion, creamed corn. Um, uh, Jamma B, you said? Uh, no answer again. Having uh, no answer. Okay, Burke. The chef was so bad he served his guests ham-flavored. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I said garlic-flavored uh, ice cream. Uh, okay, did we, did we show Charlie fast, uh, slow food video chat room? Uh -uh -uh. Chat room, did we show Charlie trying out his new slow feeder dog dish? Nope. Okay, it's only three minutes, and here it is. Uh, I, I'm having computer problems. <laughs> So, um, we can pass it. Is this something you emailed me? Yeah, last week. Uh, last week. Don't worry. Been, Don't uh, worry about it. I've Actually, been. we wanted to go out at 930 anyway. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been regular, unimproved Giz Fizz. Not even a kazoo? Okay. Oh. Uh, it's at Marcos and Bill Todman, Dixie Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Jammer B, Bargain Basement Burke, Alex Gumpel, Charlie the Dog, if we didn't say it, Dan Duku, Loke, Scooter X, TI-83, Jim Tez, Magoo, ZX, Jerry, Caesar, Becky, Ranger Rick, uh, Loke, Keith Wannabe, Hawks Post, Adam24, Johnny Monday, Elmo, uh, Jim. Yes, it's easy to do, Jim. Thank you. Cartoon Steve, Dwindle, um, and Beatmaster, and Roberto Hellman. It's not for <sighs> turtles anymore. Bye. Oh, there he is. Alex, bye. Oh, besides, we have our Tom Lear song. Uh, uh, do we? Okay. So this is, let me uh, tell you about this. Um, I got a request. Becky sent me a request to Harry. Oh, Tom great. Song, and yes. You know, it just so happens to be like my favorite Tom Lehrer song, which I've been saving. I don't know for what special occasion. I played, you know, I started off with Poisoning Pigeons in the Park, which is, you know, one of my favorite Tom Lehrer songs. And, and I was got of there's a couple of other favorites that I was saving, but we're going to start with this one and I'm going to sing it. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and nitrogen, and oxygen, and hydrogen, and rhenium. But I'm only going to sing the first two lines because that's all I know. Okay. <laughs> and in fact, I have two versions of this song I'm going to play tonight. Okay. And they're both short. One is about uh, a minute, and one is about 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. So I do want to tell you that this is a special edit of The Elements, Tom Lehrer's Elements. And, okay. And in high school, I can remember in high school being able to sing this along with Tom Lehrer. But I would look at the words, you know, I'd look at the lyrics, and I could, I could do it. And it's quite an accomplishment. I cannot believe that he does this out of his head. 
that he can sing this song because he knows the lyrics. Oh my gosh. All right, so that's on the TriCaster. I got the TriCaster potted up. Here comes the elements. A special version. I'm choosing matter vegetable, animal and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. I love it. I love it. I it's it amazes me that he can do that, and I'm happy that he can good. do that. And in fact, he's done it again, and we're going to play it again. And this, he will explain, is another version of that same song. Thank you. You may be interested to know that there is an older, much earlier version of that song, which is due to Aristotle, and which goes like this. There's earth and air and fire and water. <laughs> That's very funny. All right, chat room, see you uh, tomorrow night for Giz Whiz. And next Wednesday for Giz Fizz. Okay, Jeremy B, thank you. Oh, that's... Is that Alex's feed that we were watching there? Okay. We're going. Bye, chat room. Take care.